What's going on YouTube? It's me, Master Aquatics, once again, bringing you guys another video. I hope you guys are having a great, great, fantastic weekend. Me, not so much. I'm a little sick. I don't know if you guys can hear it in my voice. I have like some sort of like fever slash cold. I, I don't know what it is, but I ain't going to the doctor. I ain't got time for that shit. But anyways, I just wanted to bring this video to the attention of the... Uh, newbies out there wanting or that are owning an angelfish in their aquarium and um, if you're new to owning an angelfish um, there are some things that you need to know about keeping an angelfish in your aquarium they're not too difficult to keep in your fish tank but they do require a few things and there are some things that you need to know about keeping angelfish one is that they are tropical fish and what that means is is that they need warm water so you need to have a heater for your aquarium um, and again this is directed to the newbies I know the intermediate and experienced fish keepers out there know this already but you need a heater and they like to swim in temperature ranges from like 75 to 82 um, if you keep the temperature around 75 or 76 77 78 um, they won't eat as much um, but what from what I read their immune system will be a little bit stronger and they'll live longer They won't grow as fast, but if you keep the temperature around 82 or 80 81 They'll eat more they'll grow faster, but they won't live as long. Uh, that's just what I read on the internet um, I always keep the temperature around 80. Um, that's the perfect temperature for angelfish Angelfish can get really big so don't buy an angelfish unless you um have room for the angelfish. I know they look small when they're juveniles, um, but they grow pretty fast depending how many fish you have in your tank and um, how often you feed them and how often you do the water changes. Uh, angelfish are pretty hardy. You don't have to keep like a pristine, uh, clear quality water at all times. Fish can swim around in a fish tank full of algae and they'll be okay as long as you give them some food because that's all they care about is food, man. All they want to do is eat, 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 eat. That's all they do because they're little piggies. Um, but um, you do need, I always keep water changes at once a week or every two weeks. Um, I like to keep the water clean. That's just me. And your angelfish will appreciate the clean water and they'll grow a lot faster. Um, this is my gold koi angelfish. And this is just an example of how big they can get. Um, I keep him by himself in the 29 gallon um, because he's pretty big and the older angelfish get um, they start developing their personalities and characteristics and uh, most of them they will get pretty aggressive especially the males um, they 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 will go after other angelfish if they haven't you know grown up with the angelfish that you have them in there with um, but that's just their nature you know they get pretty aggressive um, I wouldn't recommend keeping angelfish with smaller fish, like, uh, you know, tetras and fish of that sort. Um, you can keep them with a few when they're smaller, but I wouldn't recommend keeping tetras, um, or neon tetras when they're big. And, um, they eat flakes, they eat bloodworms, they eat all kinds of, um, so you, you can pretty much feed them anything, um. I'm just kidding, you can't feed them anything. They eat flakes, bloodworms, brine shrimp, uh, beef heart, but you, you mainly want to feed those as a treat, so you want to do it like once a week, because if you feed them that stuff too often, um, there's a possibility of them getting a bacterial infection, and you don't want that to happen, and when that happens, they'll start like pooping out like this clear stuff, and uh, you definitely don't want that. Um, and other than that, they're very hardy fish, you know, all you need to do is keep the water clean, feed them about twice a day, minimum, um, make sure you don't keep them with too many other fish, um, the less fish and the bigger your tank, the faster they grow, and they can get as big as your hand, they can get pretty big, and, uh, they come in, um, two variations, angelfish can become, you can have, a, a veil angelfish, or you can have standard fin, angelfish if you don't know the difference veil is the one that you're looking at now it's when like their fins are like kind of like hairy looking like they look like their hairs it's very nice and elegant 
or eloquent. I can't pronounce that word, but anyways, you get you get what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. And that's the standard fin right there. That's when they have the little triangular fins. Um, they don't look as well, in my opinion, they don't look as pretty as the veils. Uh, veils are worth more, and they're a little bit more expensive. But uh, you know, veil or standard fin, it doesn't really matter. They're still gonna get big. They're still gonna want to eat. They still want uh, decent water changes. Uh, you know, and uh, angelfish, as far as personality goes, um, they're very fond of humans. You know, they'll greet you to the front of the aquarium. Uh, they're pretty cool. Um, anyways, I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And leave a comment. I'll see you guys in the next video. My name is Master Aquatics. Take care. Bye-bye.